Now we'll talk to Joshua Simon, the host of Joshua's Good Night Kiss, that airs weekdays 8 p.m. to midnight. Before Josh was a DJ, he was actually a film student at Neon Poly. And as his graduating film, he made a film called Summer is Rain. And we are showing this film as part of the EU Film Festivals yeah. um, on 21st May at 4 p.m. Summer in His Rain is a short film that I made in 2009 or 2010, I think, uh, as a graduating piece when I was in Neon in film. Um, and it's, it's a little passion project. It was made by, we have four people on team, including me, or is it five? I haven't seen a lot of them since graduation. Um, we have Marjorie, Atika, me, and Fatima. Four! Four people! It's me and three other women, okay? And then we made this short film because um, the cinematographer in this movie, her name Marjorie, her name's Marjorie, and um, she loves, she has this sort of fascination with, with Paris. And, and she, she um, composes music on her own, just the piano, and she, she taught herself how to play the piano. And I wanted to sort of do like a little piece to her as a gift to Marjorie. So in the film we've got this woman who is a Rubik's Cube champion, she's a player, and then she wakes up one day and she's colorblind. And she starts looking for other ways to bring that color back. My, my, my friend, uh, Marjorie, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to just put her in, because she's, she's so camera shy, you know, and I feel like her story should be told, like how she went, like she's this very quiet girl, but every time she's on the piano, she's just a total, she's a beast on the piano, and, and I'm just so, I was just so, I remember being so inspired by her, like she was one of the most talented people that I got to know when I was in school. Many challenges, it's a short film, we have to raise money, um, I don't have like a dad who'll pay for everything, um, so we I used to, I, I would record Marjorie on the piano and sell it on CDs to my friends, and like an unofficial soundtrack of the film is lingering somewhere in Singapore. Um, and also, I just I think convincing convincing my lecturer that we know what we're doing. I think that was the toughest part because it's a student short film. Um, we, but uh, thankfully, our lecturer really got us. So he understood where we were coming from, and they jumped on. He jumped on. I have one. Um, okay. I'm I'm very proud to say I've got the Seven Seal on Blu-ray, which is really hard to get. The Criterion Collection, not cheap. Um, I, I I would say my favorite is Let the Right One In. That's my that's my favorite one. But like, I feel like a lot of the Swedish films I've seen have like a very they have a horror element to it. Like a, it's always a little bit dark. It has this like sort of very dull, like feeling of I don't know. Like I get very anxious when I watch a Swedish film. Like they get they capture that really well. It's never just all pretty. It's always there's something underneath. Like yeah, which I which I really like. So yeah. I think it's um, I think Young Sophie Bell is. Probably one of the best foreign films that I've ever seen. It's, um, I think it's very, I think it's haunting. I think it's very addictive. I think it's, it's a, it's a character piece. But I say character in a singular way because the two characters, Alice and Sophie, they're sort of like a unit, you know. And and it's quite devastating to watch because they start off with the film and it's really nice and colorful and every time they're on screen they bring so much joy but the moment they separate like things just start to take a heavy turn and then you just don't want to look away but then uh, it's, it's not a film that you can watch like from a distance you don't just like observe it you know like you, you start bringing a part of like because we we all can relate to that we've all lost friends we've all had people that we grew up with like summer and it's rain a lot of the a lot of the, the crew members I have not seen them in a, in a while you know so not until you guys called uh, for this film that we actually start like a group chat on WhatsApp, which didn't exist when we made that film. So uh, I, I think it's very compelling. Um, I, I do, I do, I do quite a few things. I'm in radio. I, I, my, my, my great love is with music. So um, that's why when I make summer and it's raining, it's sort of like a marriage between the two. I feel like I would do things a lot differently now. I feel like I've grown a lot in the past. What, I was 20 or 19 when I made Summer and It's Rain? I feel like I'm a totally different person now, which is going to be hard to watch this movie, <laughs> Summer and It's Rain. Um, but I do want to make something, I do want to make something that I, I guess would reflect what I'm going through right now with my life. Yeah.